Hello everyone, it's Miss T over at Latana.com. I do Corel Draw training for graphic designers and screen printers and also screen printing classes amongst a lot of other things. So take a minute to look at the video, go over to Latana.com and see what I have to offer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a free general public use software called GhostScript to print out your separated uh, your separate your color separated films I'm not going to show you how to do the color separations in this it's something that I do offer in my class but I am going to show you how to use ghost script to achieve half tone printing in your shop when you can't afford to purchase you know anything else or if you just want to give this a try so what we have here today we have a very very colorful image um, a zoo image that I pulled off the internet and I'm going to show you how to do the steps in this but before we do the steps um, print out the steps in this I've already got the steps done and they are over here now I haven't put any I haven't put any um, registration marks on the separations or anything like that because this is just for the purpose of the video but here we've got nine different steps we've got a white underbase a highlight white we've got black channel cyan magenta yellow red green and blue so I'm going to show you how to print this out uh, how to rip this out uh, on your printer so before I do that you're going to need a program called ghost script okay ghost script actually comes in Corel draw a lot of people don't realize it but with your version of Corel draw you will have ghost script already embedded there and you can go to your uh, control panel I'm sorry to your C drive for those of you who do have Corel you go to your C drive go to your program files and there's ghost script right there and you could just pull it and install it for those who do not and you need to install it you will go to ghostscript.com download and this is the ghost script file that you want to install right here okay so you want to install this one you can also install this one um, it's pretty much up to you I just installed this postscript file here there are two different uh, another file that you're going to have to install this is going this is going to rip your half tones and then you will need to go regardless of if you have Corel or any other program you're going to need to be able to view the files before you print them out and in order to do that you're going to need ghost view GS view 5.0 okay now there is a ghost view that is for made by another company um, and you're not you don't want to use that one. you want to use the one that's made by artifacts okay I believe it's artifacts let me check and see uh, but it's this one right here it's the one that you want to use so figure out which version of Windows you have and then download this because you're going to need this to print out the film. So let's go back, show you how to set this up and how to print out your films. So I'm going to go over to print. Now, CorelDRAW comes with a independent postscript file uh, a device independent postscript file printer okay it's like a uh, a virtual printer so you want to select that print option and here in preferences I've got this set on 13 by 19 I've got it set on custom because most of my films are 13 by 19 inches when you go into into ghost view um, you won't see an option to print 13 by 19 inches so you have to convert that over and I'm going to show you how to do the conversion so that your films will print correctly in there in just a second so basically you're just going to set that up and then go over to separations select on separations 
and under the separations this is where the action starts now I'm gonna put when you have this in installed let's say if you were doing um, a job like with a text with the outline on that text you could select overspreading overspreading will lay like the will overspread help your design your print will automatically overspread your design, uh, giving you a little lead way in registration. So if you're doing text, uh, you can use this to overspread and any other thing. And you can set this on how much you want that to overspread. I leave it pretty much about here. Now, for what we're doing today, you're going to need to, to activate this. You're going to need to select use advanced settings okay and then you can either click down here or you can click here and change the advanced settings um, so we've got screen printing technology okay we're going to leave that alone we're going to go over here and we're going to change this but we're going to change it here because all of this is irrelevant we don't have any of these channels everything we have is printing out in black okay so what we want to do is you want to set your frequency and your angle and if you don't know how to set your frequency and angle you can always download my halftone cheat sheet it will show you differently different frequencies and different angles to set depending on the type of job that you are doing okay now um, as far as your LPI it's really going to depend on what type of screens you have and, 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 and not screens but how um, good of a burn unit that you have if you're able to really really hold these images we're separating this to print simulated process and i'm going to do it at a 45 lpi instead of a 55 normally a 45 will give you a pretty good output even though you could be using a 55 on this job but because most people who are doing this uh and using ghost script don't have you don't have a 55 uh, a a, um, a print a I'm sorry a burn unit that will burn those dots that small we're gonna just set this at um, a 45 on the frequency so LPI is equal to your frequency okay and then your angle is the degree at what you are printing at and I normally do 25 there are a lot of people in the industry that do 22.5 that part is pretty much up to you so on this angle we're gonna do I'm just gonna set it at 25 on the frequency I'm going to set that at 45 and again you can do 55 if you have a much better burn unit and you're able to uh, output so I'm going to change this the halftone type you want to change that and you can either go dot some people do the ellipse so you can do, go dot or ellipse that's just a personal preference me, I've always just done the regular dot. So I'm going to change that there. And then once I have everything that I need, and I could go over here to prepress and add some registration marks since I did not do it um, on, you know, my page. I normally do that. And if you want it to have this print out any information uh, as far as like this will print out the name of if you had this saved as the name of the job and it'll also print out plate information so that's what that's all about and then I just mark that to objects I normally don't use the registration marks in Corel just because hmm, they're very small you go over to postscript i just leave this at a level two and i don't mess with any of this type of stuff let's go back over here and then you want to go here and you want to just hit print now you can also select this option here in corel to save pages to separate files okay 
um, but I'm going to go in here and we're going to hit print. And when we